Um, so we've been here for about 20 minutes now, uh, and no sign yet of Mr. Marino. Hello? I'm coming! Well, I guess he's here. What? Hey, Mr. Marino. Nick Thornbury, how you doing? Hi. Hey, uh, are you, uh, you ready for your interview? Oh, I'm, yeah, that's today. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Um, just uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. You guys just hang out here. Sorry. Hopefully we'll get this thing underway pretty soon. I know you guys need to get back to class. Hey, hey how's it going? Uh, yeah, you guys come on in. Sure, sure. Are you, uh, you going to be wearing just that? Uh, no, we could just, um, if you guys could just do it from the top up. My pants are still at the cleaners. Um, uh, sure, guys. Okay. Above the waist, huh? Yeah, just keep it let's, up there. Let's go on in. That's fine. Keep our secret. Let me just move this stuff. So, uh, just, just go ahead and sit anywhere. Yeah, right, yeah, you guys yeah. could just sit over here. Sure. As you know, you know, I was in Dougie Bowser. Of course. Of course. Um, which starred uh, me as a 14-year-old uh, prodigy lawyer. Yeah, um, one of Bowser. my favorite shows. Right, thank you. I'm, yeah. glad, uh, I'm glad you were a fan. Um, you know, as was, as was everyone, it was, as it was a hit show. I guess Dougie Bowser was really a, a turning point in my life as, uh, you know, as an actor, as, um, as, as an artist. Um, it really, it sh could we, could we possibly move into a different room for the energy? It's really, sure. it's hot in here. Sure, really yeah, I, I, yeah, sure, we can go anywhere. Okay. Uh, we're following you. Following okay, yeah, you. let's just go into a different room. Let's okay. start it off with me, I'll be, um, I'll be doing something, and uh -huh. then, um, you know, I'll look, I'll look at the cameras. Like, sure. Like, I didn't know they were, obviously I knew they were in here. Of course, recording. of course. So, oh hey guys, hey Mr. Marino, how's it going? It's good, good. Uh, good to see you. I didn't, uh, I didn't see you guys come in. Yeah, no. Uh, how... Alex Marino. Hey, Nick Thornbury. Nice, nice to, uh, nice to meet you. So um, can we take that one more time? Yes. Yes. Oh hey guys. Hey Mr. Good Marino, Nick Thornbury. Nick, nice, nice, to, nice you, uh, to meet you. Hi, nice how y'all doing? You. Good to see you guys. How, uh, how? So you're how here for the interview. I, I am. Yeah, you know we. Uh, I'm we got fine. Our I'm, uh, I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. Can we take this into a different room? It is freezing in here. I am, I am dying of, 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 of the... Of sure, the did you want to take room? it outside or something? It's a very nice Let's, day. Can we take it out back? Let's take it outside. I tell you what, why don't we get you one of these chairs? Yeah, sure. And Just remember uh, to keep it from the waist up, guys. Sure, yeah. Make sure you're not getting, uh, getting any of those pants. Right? Right, Alex? Uh, what, what's a day in the life of Alex Marino like these days? Um... You know, it's crazy. I mean, ever since uh, ever since Dougie Bowser aired and was was off the air, um, you know, I I'm dodging paparazzi uh, all day, every day. Sure. Um, sure. Yeah. You Definitely. know, it's I go down I go I go down by the trash bins and I'm just getting asked questions all around. Um, yeah. You know, like hey, Harold this is a celebrity. You know, people walk by and they're like, this is this that's the Dougie Bowser kid. I'm sorry. Can we move this inside? It is it is scorching up here. I'm sweating my face off. Sure, okay. sure. Uh, you think it's gonna be warm enough in there? I think the problem is it's too warm out here. I just like to go inside. And okay. Just, or at least get a towel. Or okay, something. guys, let's take this one inside. Let's go inside. Okay. So uh, when you were living in LA uh, as a 14 year old, you know, there were some rumors that the studio got a little miffed by some of your uh, outside the show activities. Um, and you know, I know that you personally said that sure. that was a lot of hearsay and uh, like some real slander that they got into, but let's just give you a chance to defend yourself here in front of everybody. Well, first of all, I'd just like to clarify that, um, you know, when I, was, when I was going through that time and those allegations, um, I didn't know what the words hearsay and slander meant. I'd only known them um, from the show, so it actually wasn't hearsay or slander, right? Because right. I I did have a drug problem. Okay, so so it wasn't it wasn't all made up. There was a real problem. There. No, 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 no. When I said when I said at the time that it was made up, I didn't I didn't mean that at all. You were you were making it up. I was making up what? That it was made up. Yes. Yeah. I think so. I'm not sure. Are you asking if I was making up? The drugs, because I was I was I was severely addicted to drugs. So can we just uh, want to just do something interview right here? Sure, okay. sure, yeah. I mean, tell me about this table. This is gorgeous here. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a nice table. This was um, this was a gift actually from Steven Spielberg. Really? Yeah. Steven Spielberg. How about that? Uh, he, um, you know, we just worked together. He wanted to work together on a few projects. 
and um, you know, I'm just I was just busy with the uh, other the experimental theater stuff. I, I enjoy this table a lot, um, and uh, yeah, like you know, shoot some uh, shoot some pool on it. Sure. And um, you yeah. uh, are you a pretty good pool player now? I guess. Oh, I'm all right. I don't like to uh, I don't like to brag or not. Oh shit! Nowadays, what kind of acting opportunities come knocking at your door? I'm nowadays? sorry, can we take this uh, back into that room? Yeah, you get a little part of the table. Yeah, my ass is chafing from the pool felt. Yeah, I understand. You know, you could put on some pants. I told you they're the cleaners. <sighs> right, so. Of course. Let's take it back, okay, guys. Let's, let's do that. Just keep it going, you know, above the, uh, above the waist. Thanks. So I'm just going to make this a little, you know, less formal. Sure, sure. Casual down a little bit. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You, uh, Cause you're in a, you seem like a casual kind of guy, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty casual. Should I be, should I be standing or... What? No, you can... You can okay, I'll, I'll just keep... Just sit, yeah, we'll you just know what, just stand up for a second. Stand up while you change. And then, and then no, no, no. Sit down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be less... I'm going to become less formal and then we're going to sit down together. So, what else did you want to talk to me about? Sorry, take it again. Just uh, yeah. when, I, when I said the so, we're yeah. just going to go down together. Sure, gotcha. Okay. So, what did you want to talk to me about, Nick? Well, Alex, I was, I was curious, you know... I know that we talked a little bit about this before, and I'm sure it's a little bit of a sensitive subject. Sure, but uh, sure. if you wouldn't mind getting back into the, uh, the substance issue, um, I feel like people are still really curious as to what all happened. Got the such bad blood. Substance I mean, of... Substance abuse. You know, drugs. drugs. Oh, the drugs. Yeah, the drugs. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to beat around the bush. You don't, have, you don't, have, to, you don't yeah. have to sugarcoat it. We all know I had some, uh, some problems. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, well you know, documented. Well, well in the past. I lost my grandma to drugs. I, you, she, you lost her. What, what was she taking? We were at Six Flags, and I was wheeling her around the park, and, you know, sure, we were enjoying ourselves. It was all fine games. Then I went to the, uh, went to the men's bathroom with some, with some friends of mine, and uh, we shot up some heroin at the theme park. And, uh, and we got real high. I went outside and uh, I lost my grandmother. She, she wasn't Did there. Did she have a heart, heart attack or a stroke or? No, she physically wasn't there. I had left her outside. Oh, you mean you lost her? I lost, like, I lost you couldn't her find her. As in somebody stole her. But you grandmother. never found her. We again? never found her. That was the mystery. Is that I lost my grandmother to wow. drugs. Wow. It was it was that indirectly. A, she wasn't on drugs herself. That is a harrowing harrowing story of it, drug abuse. It, it is. Uh, it was a lot. It was a lot of heroin. And harrowing. Yeah, heroin. H e r o i. No, I'm saying it's a harrowing story, though. Yes, yes. So tell me, you know, what kind of help do you? I mean, do you still have the same agent from from your Dougie days, or have you got a new guy now? I do, I do. Um, you know, uh, Barry is uh, he's a genius. The way sure. the way he works is incredible. Um, and he's you know he's got me uh, various different roles in uh, in smaller things. Mm -hmm. That I've done. Like what? For, for example, I mean, can you can you remember any of the roles he's gotten uh, since since Dougie ended? Uh, just uh, what was it about a year and a half ago? Mm -hmm. You might remember I did a uh, I did a cat food commercial. <laughs> oh hi! I didn't see you there. I'm Alex Marino here for Snacks Me Out Cat Food, where we'll make your cat feel like a fat cat CEO, <laughs> but without the extra pounds. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't live around here. He's based in uh, in Utah. Which really? Is, yeah. Uh, but he must have a local office. You don't go all the way to Utah to see him every time you want to talk to him. Oh, well, sure, 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 sure. He has, a, he has an office locally that he sure. rents out when he comes in. Um, he's here for uh, for a week out of every month. And um, I meet with him uh, several times. And uh, so you're his only client in the area? Or he's seen a lot of people? or I mean, you know. Does he what, cast most of the dog food commercials around here? Well, or? what do you mean? It was cat food, actually. Cat food, sorry. That's okay. Um, I mean, you know, how how busy is Barry's office on a day to day basis? You know, do you go in and you can we just can we take that again? Would you saying cat food? Sure. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, sure. I wouldn't do a dog food. Correct. Right. Right. I understand. Hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Alex Marino. You might remember me from such shows as Dougie Bowser, JD, where I play a fictitious prodigy child lawyer. <laughs> well, today I'm here to tell you about Pennsylvania Cottage Puppy Chat. Pennsylvania kind of got fuck Barry. I can't do this anymore. This sucks. Is he casting every cat food commercial in in the area, or is he you know 
still a pretty specialized agent. Uh, how uh, I'm sorry, how's the mood in there? Uh, I'm still a little upset with the uh, with the dog food thing. Can we run it back a few? You want more? Just run it. Just run it back a little more than we did. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So is Barry a local agent, or uh, does he live around here? Does he work locally? Um, Barry's based out of Utah, actually. Um, 